Hi guys! Welcome to the Val Monster channel. My name is Valerie and this is Josephine. And I, today I wanted to show you her nursery, which we spent a lot of time decorating. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, please check out my other daughter's uh, bedroom that we did, <laughs> her big girl bedroom. Uh, you'll see it's a lot more neutral toned and more hints of pink. With Josephine's room, I want it to be a bit more funky and a bit more punches of deeper colors. So you'll see that I sort of changed up the, the color scheme and did some different things with this one. <laughs> <laughs> when you first come in, there's a closet door, and on the closet door we actually hung this cute little hook from Etsy. And what I like to put on the hook is just sort of newer outfits that I want to try, or outfits that she's not quite um, fitting into yet, that I just want to remind myself are there for the future. So I've got this cute little pineapple pants, and a little sister t-shirt that I thought were really cute, so I have them on there for now. So over here we have our boring laundry basket. <laughs> and uh, basically a gallery wall that I put together for this room. So what you'll see on the top left, there's this type of flower here, and on the top right, the same flower in a different type of picture. So basically that flower is actually called the Josephine Lily, and Josephine, that's her name, Josephine Lily. And I just discovered that when I was Googling her name, suddenly I saw this beautiful flower, and I didn't know that uh, her name was actually a flower. So that was kind of fun, uh, just a fun detail to put in the nursery. So you'll see I also have these artworks here. Here's one of them, another one. I feel like they're really beautiful. They have kind of a fairy tale feeling to them. And it's actually an illustrator that I found on Etsy. She sent me these different artworks. Uh, so I really appreciated having them. For, and they're actually cards. Um, and I got this one blown up as an eight by 11 print to put in this frame. Then in this frame, I have a, a drawing done by Sophia at her daycare. I thought that would be a fun touch to have a drawing by Sophia for her sister's room. Here I have just a printable artwork, it was free online, that I put in this frame. I wanted to save some money because I didn't want to spend money on every print. And up here was a very affordable 4x6 uh, printable um, I did pay for on Etsy. Down here is a card called Joy to the World. I just love these little pinecone girls. <laughs> so even though it's a Christmas one, I leave it up all year round because I think it's really adorable and a nice little touch to her room. And down here is a family picture of us from a few Christmases ago. I am going to change this picture up, but right now that was just a placeholder picture. So there you can see the gallery wall. The frames I actually got um, very affordably. I got one from Winners, I believe, and the rest of them uh, were very cheap from a local store. I love the red frame. It adds a bit of detail and depth to this wall. Uh, down here I've got um, basically this basket I use for extra diapers, and it's from Beauclair in Canada. Down here I've got a cute little frame, it says already sweet, already perfect, already loved, that has a picture from her ultrasound, so that was a nice detail we could add early on. And here's some elephant bookends with a few of our, our favorite books. And here is actually a uh, white noise machine, we just use a, uh, an iPod dock and an old iPhone that we have, and basically put it in there, we have an app that gives us a really nice waterfall sound, that's what we use for our white noise, and it works really well. So down here I've got the bookcase filled with a bunch of different things for Josephine. So first I just have a few stuffed animals for decorations. Down here is just like blankets, bigger blankets. And over here is sort of more knitted blankets. Then in this one we've got some just random toys. And in this one a few more dolls as well. So just fun baskets. I figure when she gets a bit older she can pull them out and play with different things. It'll be really fun. Over here is her crib. It's the same one that Sophia had, uh, just a basic white Ikea crib, and we've got some, a modern styled crib skirt. Over here we've got her monitor, <laughs> which looks really weird, but you know, she doesn't, she can't really touch that yet at night. She doesn't really bother it, so we're not too worried, but later we, we are gonna move that pretty soon. In her crib we have this little doudou. I call it a doudou in French. Um, it's her little sort of um, just blanket that she has it for comfort at night. Up here is one of my favorite things about the room. It's a, a decal that I got from Etsy, and it's just of her name. I did a custom decal, and it's so beautiful. It's a, it's a deep red, and I just love the style of the lettering, and I just think it fits so well. It's just the perfect size, and it was so easy to apply to the wall. I was really surprised how easy it was just to put on, so we were really nervous when we were putting it on. I remember Jason and I doing that together, but it worked out really well. Here I just got some basic curtain, blackout curtains. This is a blackout curtain from Beauclair, it's a bit wrinkled. And this is an Ikea curtain for the base. 
So over here, I love this dresser. It's an Ikea, it's actually two Ikea dressers put together, the Ikea Malm in the turquoise color. The color's not turning out as well here as I would like. I might have to try to adjust that in the post-processing, um, but it's more teal than that. It looks very blue in the picture, but it's, it's more green than that. Um, it's a really nice color. And over here, I've just got a basket with her diapers. I've got some wipes, uh, Burt's Bees, um, I think this is a lotion and some um, her daytime diapers and nighttime diapers we used to use cloth diapers uh, for Sophia but that didn't really work out so we kind of gave up on that so for Josephine we're just going with normal diapers up here we've got another print from Etsy which I really love it's so cute it's got these animals stacked on top of each other <laughs> and the colors just work perfectly for the room the reds the oranges the deep colors and the teal of course so over here we've got a mirror that I bought from Boucler as well. Um, I really like the detail uh, around the edge in the pink color. And it's really pleasant when you're changing her diaper on this uh, changing pad. You can kind of look in the mirror and see the gallery wall, which I really like. Over here we've got another printable artwork, which I actually paid for, I believe. Um, it was on Etsy, a printable uh, feather print that I thought the colors worked well. This is the armchair that we used also for Sophia. It's a really great nursing chair because it's so comfortable and spacious. And these, this is real life. These are the nursing pillows that I use for Josephine for every nap and for bedtime. And I use two stacked on each other because it just works very well. It's very comfortable for both of us. But you can see it's a very nice armchair. I don't really like the ones that are very narrow. This just is so comfortable and we can really spend quality time here together. Over here we've got our end table. This is a cute end table I got for very cheap on a used website. In here we keep our receiving blankets. <sighs> All right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Josephine's nursery. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos, stick around, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. You can check out any of my other videos. Every week we do weekly family vlogs. <laughs> and I also do recipe review videos called Make It or Leave It. So stick around for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.